Engineer 775 here. Um, we're working on a retreat and um, some of you ask how do I protect the simple pump? Well this is an elaborate and uh, an expensive way but a cute way. This, everything's done on this pump house but it is not stained yet. Let me take you in and I'll show you what we can do on a pump house. Alright, it's a neat, got one course of block um, all the way around. It's insulated. We've got a skylight here and the skylight is removable so that we can pull the submersible pump out if there was ever a problem we had to work on either the simple pump or the submersible pump. The simple pump is going to be motorized and I'm going to have um, a battery bank here and a charge controller on the wall and we're going to run solar panels to keep that thing uh, to motorize this simple pump. So uh, I'm going to redo this plumbing. I don't like this is kind of how it was before we started the project. Um, actually, also here's a trap door, and in here is going to be a pressure switch and a manifold to uh, connect to a 2,500 gallon water tank I have on top of the hill that will gravity feed this retreat. So the, without power, could run for a couple weeks um, off of the the gravity fed water tank. So little trap door here. I'll show you the end of that when I get it done tomorrow. And this is obviously it's nice and warm in here. It's all insulated, got a light, so this is a nice little pump house. Um, you don't have to go as this elaborate to protect your well, but uh, it's, they got a garden next to it too, so it can be a garden shed and pump house. So we're going to finish this up and get this automated, meaning uh, this pump will be solarized. Grid goes down, they'll, they'll have water running off of solar and batteries and uh, we'll be doing that install here shortly then I can show you a, a complete simple pump installation that's automated and um, then with the cistern that'll give us another option another backup option and uh, so it's a neat little setup with a manifold in there easy to make adjustments we'll have everything labeled and that's about it the building's not in a good orientation for putting the solar on the building and where it sits with the trees though yeah we're not we're gonna put a pole mount solar so that's the little pump house if people ask how do you protect the simple pump from freezing well the simple pump has a wheat pole in it of itself 48 inches down so it will not freeze but some of that external plumbing surely will that's it and I've got uh, to start trenching. I've got 2,000 feet of 1 inch PVC to put in. Um, one of those lines will go, well, those are just chases. It'll be 1 inch PVC to the tank and then 1 inch PVC return from the tank. And that'll, that'll do it. So we started with the rock over the well casing and now we've turned it into <laughs> quite the water project here in the retreat. But it's a, it's a nice addition to to this uh, this little farm place. So, if any any questions? I know it's a little elaborate. So, but nice nice building, and they do have a garden spot out here, and so they can use it as a, a garden shed as well. Very good. I think that's all I have to say. They did a, got a little fancy, did a little stucco on the bottom of the blocks just to make it look nicer, and I think that's about it. Very good. And they got a nice little mountain laurel feature up in the gable there. Ain't that cute? Okay, folks. That is the pump house for preppers. Thanks for watching. Engineer 775 continuing this pump house video. Here we have the simple pump. Just plumbed it in to the uh, house. I know this is kind of, this is the way their plumbing was. We've basically tied the uh, simple pump into the house plumbing and we've got uh, ball valves to isolate either pump we've also added this manifold over here and we've got a shut off where we can isolate that I like a lot of unions and a lot of ball valves and what is this this is going to control the simple pump when we put the motor on it and over here we've got the 12 volt DC motor that is going to run the simple pump this will basically you've seen this in other videos but this motor is going to run that simple pump 
and we've got a solar panel and uh, batteries on their way. Uh, the manifold, again, what are we doing this for? We're adding some redundancy to this retreat for their water supply. We're going to fill a 2,500 gallon tank and then we're going to have a return line. Once that tank is full, they could actually uh, be sustained off of the water tank without power, without solar, without anything for weeks at a time. We're also going to use it for irrigating for their gardens. Got some extensive gardens on this property and we're going to use this to, to water. So if you have any questions about uh, the simple pump, there's so many different ways to install them. And so we're having a lot of fun here helping people uh, get prepared with their water systems. Thanks for watching.